السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله رب العالمين وأصلي وأسلم على من بعثه الله رحمة للعالمين وقدوة للعاملين ومحجة للسالكين وحجة على العباد أجمعين بعثه الله بالإيمان ناديع وإلى الدار السلام داعيا أما بعد يقان في الله We're continuing with our lecture series regarding the signs of the day of judgment. Sign number 36. Sign number 36 from the minor signs of the day of judgment. Zuhur al kasiyat al ariyat. From the signs of the day of judgment is that women will be dressed yet they're naked. Women will be dressed yet they're, yet they're naked. These are from the signs of the day of judgment. Women will be dressed, yet they are naked. The Prophet والسلام, says in authentic hadith, مَا تَرَقْتُ بَعْدِي فِتْنَةً أَشَدَّ عَلَى الرِّجَالِ مِنْ فِتْنَةِ النِّسَاءِ رواه Bukhari wa Muslim. Prophet والسلام, says, there's no temptation, there's no trial that I have left after me that is more severe, that is more difficult on the men than the fitna of women. This is the greatest trial that women have been given from the Ummah of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu the fitna of women. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says in the Quran, زُيِّنَ لِلنَّاسِ حُبُّ الشَّهَوَاتِ مِنَ النِّسَاءِ وَالْبَنِينِ وَالْقَنَاطِيرِ الْمُقَنْطَرَةِ مِنَ الْبَنِينِ مِنَ الذَّهَبِ وَالْفِضَّةِ I'm really confused. زُيِّنَ لِلنَّاسِ حب الشهوات من النساء والبنين والقناطير المقدرة ومن الذهب والفضة والخيل إلى آخره. طيب الله سيد زين الناس حب الشهوات من النساء. That Allah سبحانه وتعالى has made beloved to us the desires are from the greatest desires number one he mentions النساء women women. Allah سبحانه وتعالى says وقل للمؤمنين يغضوا من أبصارهم ويحفظوا فروجهم. And we say to the men the believing men that they should put their eyes down and protect their private parts. This hadith that we're going to mention, that this, from the signs of the signs of the day of judgment, women are dressed, yet they're naked, is what is happening in our times. When the war on hijab was declared, and the war on modesty was declared, this has happened. Let us go a little bit back in history, Khan to see the danger of fitna to Nisa. Imam Ibn Kathir, rahimahullah, he narrates, he says, from the events of the year 248 of Hijri Kalda, the events of the year 248 of Hijri Kalda, Mata Abdu Ibn Abdul Rahim, Qabbahullah. Abdu, the son of Abdul Rahim, may Allah curse him, died in this year. This man was one of the Mujahideen. He used to fast. Mondays, Thursdays, Siyam, fasting every time. And he used to perform Kathir al-Jihad ila ard al He used to fight the Roman Empire every single time. One day, he has gone with the Muslims to fight the Roman Empire. And they besiege a castle from the enemies of Islam. Then this man, Abdul ibn Abdul Rahim, he sees a woman, a very beautiful Christian woman. And he says to her, Ma sabilu ilayk, how can I get to you? She says to him, Tanasr, become a Christian, thumma tasad ilayya. Then you come up to me. So this man, he says, I accept. I'm going to be a Christian. And he went up, up to the chambers and did his business with that lady. In the morning, the Muslims are praying Fajr. Where is Abdul Abdul Rahim? Where is Abdul? Where is that great man? Where is that person who of ibadah? They can't find him. Then they prepare in the battlefield. Then they see on the window, ha. Huh, Abdul ibn Abdul Rahim is with them. He's joined the enemy. He's left the deen of Allah. The Muslims, the entire army, they lost their morale. For such a great person who is in Islam has left the deen of Allah because of a woman and they left the battlefield. Years later passed. And some Muslims were passing this castle after they had made peace with the Romans. Then they meet Abdul ibn Abdul Rahim. They ask him, Ya Fulan, ma fa'ala amaluk? وَمَا فَعَلَ قُرْآنُكْ وَصِيَامُكْ وَجِهَادُكْ What has happened to your deeds? What has happened to your Qur'an? You memorized the entire Qur'an. What has happened to your fasts? What has happened to all the jihad that you did? 
He says, اعلموا Bear witness أني قد نسيت القرآن I have forgotten the entire Quran except for one single verse ربما يود الذين كفروا لو كانوا مسلمين ذرهم يأكلوا ويتمتعوا ويلهموا الأمل فسوف يعلمون The only verse that he can remember is perhaps the ones who have disbelieved will wish they are Muslims. Let them eat and they enjoy and be deluded by false delusion. They shall indeed know. رُبَّمَا يَوَدُّ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا لَوْ كَانُوا مُسْلِمِينَ The entire Quran is forgotten apart from this verse. Imam Al-Qutubi rahimahullah mentions a very interesting story also in his book at tadkira He says, in Egypt, there was a man, every day, the adhan, he goes up to the minaret and he makes the adhan. Every single day. وَكَانَ عَلَيْهِ بَهَاءُ الْعِبَادَةِ وَنُورُ طَاعَةِ He had, his face, you could tell this was a abid, a worshiper. It had nur, this muaddin. He says, one day he's going up to give the adhan of Salat al-Asr. Then as he's going upstairs, he looks at the house next to the mosque. And it's a house of a dhimmi, a Christian. And he sees the lady of the house. She sees the daughter of the man of the house. And she's very beautiful. So he says, ah, let me leave the other for a while. He goes downstairs, knocks on the door. She's shocked. Mother to read, what do you want? She says, he says, Auntie Urid, I want you. He's mentioned a lot of romantic things. He says, you have taken my heart. You have stolen my heart. My breath has gone away. La, la, la. You know the stories men give. So the lady is like, Anta Muslim. Wa Nasraniya. says, you are a Muslim. And I'm a Christian. He says, Ida Natanasar. I shall become a Christian. He says, okay, if you do that, then my father will accept for me to marry you. So he, has, he enters the chambers of the, of the Christian, leaves the other completely. Then the lady is like, ah, you are playing games. You are playing, you are playing games. Let me test you if you have become a Christian. Gives him some pork and some alcohol. So he eats and he drinks from the alcohol. Alcohol needs experience. It's something that you need experience. You cannot just take a lot of alcohol at once. You don't get... So this guy took alcohol and he got intoxicated immediately. And he went up the stairs, up the roof, and he fell down and he broke his neck and he died. Al-Qurtubi rahimahullah, he says, he did not benefit from her, nor did he benefit from his deen. He lost both his religion and both his, the woman, he lost both. خسر الدنيا والآخرة. All started because of of a woman and because of another. قال في الله in our times honestly yes it's very difficult for us as young men even for old men honestly to keep their eyes down. But this has a lot of barakah. For benefit قال في الله some countries والله you cannot put your eyes down. غض البصر يجوا put your eyes down. But some of this would dress, you rather put your head up like this. There's no clothes at all. You look down naked, you look up naked. Astaghfirullah, they look at the sky. Naked completely. People have gone, Al Haya Dahabat. Mafi Haya. Ida Lam Tastahi Fasnima Shit. Haya is from Iman. There's no modesty. People are not scared of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They dress as they wish. So from the signs of the signs of the day of judgment is people will be dressed, women will be dressed, get their naked. The Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam, he says, Sinfani min ahli nari lam arahuma. He says, two groups in the hellfire, I've seen them, but I've not seen them in this world yet. And he continues, he says, Qawmun ma'hum siyatun ka'adna bil baqar. He says, men, people who have whips, like the tails of cows, yadribuna biha nas they beat up the people, we mentioned this hadith previously. Then he continues, he says, وَنِسَاءٌ كَاسِيَاتٌ عَارِيَاتٌ مُمِلَاتٌ مَائِلَاتٌ He says, and women who are dressed, yet they are naked, and they walk in a way that entices men. They walk in a way that attracts them to men. إِقَانِ فِي اللَّهِ What is the meaning of this hadith when he says كَاسِيَاتٌ عَارِيَاتٌ 
They are dressed, yet they are naked. Number one, in Kishaf al awra Yes, they are dressed, but you can see the parts that are supposed to be hidden. For example, you can see the legs, you can see the thighs, you can see the hands, you can see most of the body. So yet, yes, they are dressed with some dress, but most of the body or parts of the body that should be covered are exposed. That's number one. Number two, clothes that are transparent. As I said, the, the brother. Clothes that are transparent. So yes, she's worn full clothes, but you can see through the cloth. Right together. Protect yourselves and your family from the hellfire. And Allah, from our community in particular, it is haram, it is haram for a woman, a believing woman, to leave the house and go outside with a dira. Are you together? That does not qualify to be hijab. A dira is what leaves the hands exposed. That's what the dira is. And these clothes, number one, they are khafif, they're very light. Number two, sometimes they're transparent. So remind our sisters they cannot leave the house with, with these diras. It's not proper. So it's number two, transparent. Number three, clothes that are very tight, that you can see the whole body of the woman. You can tell the size of her chest, the size of her backside, her thighs. You can you can describe her entire body. Just, she's dressed, yes, but she's not dressed. She's clothed, but she's not clothed. Why? Because number one, her, what is number one? It's either short, exposes parts, number two, transparent, number three, it is, it is too tight. And this is a great fitna for us as young men. We have been given a solution by Prophet والسلام, the Prophet ﷺ says, Ya ma'ashar al-shabab, man istata'a minkum al-ba'ata, fal yatazawwaj. Fa'innahu agaddu lil-basar, wa ahsanu lil-farj. Wa man lam yastati'a fa'alayhi bil-sawf, fa'innahu lahu wujah. Ra'u Bukhari. He says, O young men, whoever is able of you amongst you to support a family, marry, marry, marry. Ukhali fi Allah, we have advanced in technology but our mindset has not advanced that much you as a father you as a parent and you have a son that's 18 20 and 22 and he's been killed by desires he's been killed by shahawat netflix is there facebook is there instagram is there the advertisement every single advertisement in this dunya has a woman in it then the young man comes to you, Baba, I want to marry. No, no, no. You have to finish school. After school, you have to get a job. You have to be promoted in that job. Huh? You have to be able to provide for the family and have extra. And these conditions make it difficult for marriage and make it easy for zina. True or false? It is allowed to delay pregnancy. Are we together? It is allowed to delay pregnancy. What is haram is to stop pregnancy completely. So if your child, your daughter is 18, 20 years old, and you want to protect her modesty, protect your modesty as a parent, protect the modesty of our society here in South Sea, in Nairobi, and the Muslims at large, and she wants to get married and you see it's serious, allow her to get married. Then if you want her to get your grandchildren after five, seven years, it is allowed. What is haram is permanent. Temporary is allowed. The Sahaba used to do temporary. What is it called? Temporary what? Uh, what is this called? Delay, it's called what? Delay pregnancy is called what? What's the word? <laughs> no, there's a word. It's a good word for it. That one. So it's a uh, delay conception, it's allowed. So, look after our children. Family planning, yes, which other word is there? 
contraceptives, yes. You're allowed to use contraceptives. The Prophet ﷺ continues, he says, رُؤُسُهُنَّ كَأَسْلِمَةِ الْبُخْتِ الْمَائِلَةِ He says that these women who are dressed or are yet naked and they walk in an enticing manner, they have a hairstyle where they keep a bun. They keep a bun. He says that this hairstyle is like the hump of camels. It's like the hump of camels. You've seen this style where they keep the hair up like this. Continues, he says, لا يدخلنا الجنة ولا يجدنا راحية الجنة فإن وإن ريحة لا يوجد من مسيرة كذا وكذا. He says that these women لا يدخلنا الجنة. They shall not enter paradise. They will not enter paradise. Number two, ولا يجدنا ريحة. They will not even they'll be outside of Jannah, but they cannot even smell the smell of Jannah that escapes from Jannah. وَإِنَّ رِيحَ لَا يُوجَدُ مِنْ مَسِيرَةِ كَذَا وَكَذَا And the smell of Jannah can be smelled a distance, a very far distance. In one hadith, it says a distance of 40 years. In another hadith, it says a distance of 500 years. So, Khani Fillah, from the signs of the signs of the Day of Judgment is Duhur Al-Kiyasiyat Al-Ariyat. Also in our time, there's a, there's a movement, I don't want to talk much about it, the feminine movement, the feminist movement. One of the feminists went to a sheikh, and he was really disturbing the Sheikh. Too many questions. He says, you know, we are civilized. Not like you Muslims. You Muslims force your women to dress like this, like this, like this. Our women can dress as they please. Look how civilized I am. Look how short my clothes are. So this, she's talking a lot of nonsense. So the Sheikh told her, one minute. You said you're civilized because your clothes are shorter. Please be civilized more. Show us more of your civilization. A, remove all your clothes so that you reach that higher level of civilization that you're talking about. Oh. The people in the Stone Age did not have any clothes. Then they advanced with clothes. Now you're taking us back to those days, then you're calling this advancement. When you're breaking families with adultery and fornication, that has become advancement. From the signs of the signs of the Day of Judgment, as mentioned by our Prophet alayhi salatu salam, is Duhur al-Kasiyat al-Ariyat wa akhiru da'wan alhamdulillah rabbil alameen wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'm sorry for any mistakes I made today. My head is not, is not there. Barakallahu <laughs> alaykum.